forces! Hey guys, it's Josh. I hope you're having a good day. So a few days ago, I went to Chandler, Arizona to compare Waymo One RoboTaxi service to Tesla's FSD Beta version 10.5. So I picked a start point and an end point and navigated both systems between the two points. And what you're seeing here is the Waymo ride on top and the Tesla ride on the bottom. And on the right hand side, there's a map showing each one of the routes. Um, so the Waymo decided to take a right out of the parking lot, uh, which made the ride about three miles longer. So here you can see them getting through the parking lot and starting to exit. The Tesla route also went right, but then tried to make an immediate left to start going north. The way the Tesla navigation routed the car, it would have to make four successive lane changes within about a half a block. And you can see here, it's only able to make two of those changes. So it's gonna have to go straight through the intersection, um, which is taking the car off route. I do have to apologize for the Waymo ride being so shaky. I'm essentially just holding the camera on a tripod because my tripod wasn't tall enough to set up in the car. Uh, I wish I had thought a bit more about how to mount the camera in the Waymo car. And then here it tried to do a U-turn, but the FSD system decided not to. And then here, getting into the left lane, I had to take over because I wasn't comfortable with the car continuing through the intersection. I think certainly a, you or I could have made it through. Uh, there's about two seconds gap there. And probably the FSD system could have made it through, but I wasn't comfortable with the safety margin considering the uncertainty of the FSD system in intersections and turns sometimes. So I did take over there. And now the Tesla is turning around in the neighborhood, trying to get back on route. And you can see here, the Waymo is queued up to take a right And Tesla's turning right out of the neighborhood to get back to the desired track and it handles that pretty well. And here's the Waymo going right to start heading north. And there's Tesla turning right, getting back on track. So now it's back on the, the correct navigation route.
and here's the Tesla turning left. You can see there's two lanes turning left onto the highway. And then the Tesla uh, has to merge. And here's the Tesla changing from one highway to another, no problem changing between highways. And at this point, the Waymo is ahead, but since Tesla is traveling 65 miles an hour, it is catching up pretty rapidly. And you can see on the map there, the, touch, the Tesla catching up. And here is the Tesla exiting the highway and preparing to turn left. Uh, meanwhile, the Waymo is still traveling north along the 45 mile an hour road. And here, both cars are waiting to turn left. You see the Tesla start going. Again, it's two lanes turning left at the same time. No problem for the Tesla. And now the Waymo going left. Also no problem for the Waymo. And here's the Tesla preparing to turn right into the neighborhood. And no problem turning right. And the Tesla's navigating the unmarked neighborhood roads and the speed bumps of the neighborhood. And here's Tesla making the final turn to the destination, and the destination's on the right there. It does stop in the middle of the road. Um, that's how the system works now. So the Tesla ride is done. And I'm starting the clock to s so we can see the difference between the, the two. And Waymo waiting to turn right. Here's the Waymo turning right, and no problem there.
And here's the Waymo turning right into the neighborhood. It's hard to tell from the map, but they entered from different parts of the neighborhood because they approached from different directions. And here's the Waymo making the final left, uh, approaching, you can see the same red car there from the Tesla ride. And the nice part about the Waymo system is it finds a safe place to park um, where you'd be able to get out. So that's something the Tesla can't do. And you can see it's about four and a half minutes later. So in terms of stats, the Tesla ride was seven miles. It took about 18 and a half minutes. And the Waymo ride was 10 miles and took about 23 minutes, so about four and a half minutes later. Um, the Tesla did have an intervention due to trying to make an unsafe left turn. And then I think the other axis to compare them on would be comfort. So I have Tef Tesla's FSD system on assertive mode, which does not prioritize comfort. Um, but the Waymo system was much more comfortable. Not perfectly comfortable because it still has some jerky behavior. Um, it's very good at controlling jerk in the steering axis, but not as good controlling jerk in acceleration and braking. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got for you today. There's a comparison of the two technologies currently. And do keep in mind that the Waymo system is a fully legal, regulated robo-taxi service, um, and we're comparing that to a beta system that hasn't passed tests and can't actually do robo-taxi rides. So I think it's important to remember that. So yeah, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and leave me a comment if you've got questions, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.